Look what we have here. Pages are yellow. It's an original Bhagavad Gita. Macmillan. I just came back from the assisted living 24-hour care community that my father is is living in. And it's really great. <laughs> Creation is wonderful, I'll tell you. People there really are spiritually inclined. They see their service as serving God. It's very obvious by the way they deal with these seniors who many of them have dementia or Alzheimer. All of them are physically impaired. They can't bathe properly or dress properly by themselves. They have the best care. And there's the activity director. <clears throat> She's 100% totally dedicated to elevating these people spiritually as best she can. She practices Reiki and clearing energy. She uses everything she can to engage them. Arts and crafts, music, contests, quizzes, which is the basic understanding of devotional service is we engage everything in the service of Krishna. She's very, very uh, enthusiastic about what she does. She's very high energy. She has a Bhagavad Gita, and she's accepted prasadam and flowers that have been offered to the deities. A nice um, gardenia flower garland. There's a gardenia bush here. And collected the flowers and made a nice garland for Srila Prabhupada. She accepted that, wore it joyfully. Today she was, um, had everybody in the room, all the seniors, in their various conditions of functionality, and was explaining to them the importance of music. She arranges for musical performers to come twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. This morning it was a violin player. He was very good, a young man, very sensitive, and he's from a nonprofit organization um, that uses music as therapy. His violin playing was very, very sweet. So he now has an Ishwapanishad. <laughs> it was very, very reassuring that Krishna is there on all levels and working through different people in different ways to try and elevate the living entities, elevate us so that we can perfect our life and become reinstated in our original loving relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, free from the sufferings of the external energy of the Lord. <clears throat> I was so thankful. Thank you, Krishna, for making this nice arrangement. This is Bhagavad Gita, the 18th chapter, and I was thinking specifically of the last verse. But these are the verses leading up to the last verse. This is the famous verse, 1865. Manmana mad... Hmm. Manmana bhava mad bhakto mad yajimam namaskaru. 
Mame Vesyasi Satyam Te Patijane Priyosine. Always think of me, become my devotee, worship me, offer your homage unto me, thus you will come to me without fail. I promise you this, because you are my very dear friend. Text 66 Sarvata man parichacha Mami kam saranam vracha Aham tuam sarva pavi pyo Mokshai shami ma sutraha Abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender unto me. I shall deliver you from all sinful reaction. Do not fear. Text 67. This confidential knowledge may not be explained to those who are not austere or devoted or engaged in devotional service, nor to one who is envious. Text 68. For one who explains the supreme secret to the devotees, devotional service is guaranteed, and at the end he will come back to me. Text 69. There is no servant in this world more dear to me than he, nor will there ever be one more dear. Text 70. And I declare that he who studies this sacred conversation worships me by his intelligence. Text 71. And one who listens with faith and without envy becomes free from sinful reaction and attains to the planets where the pious dwell. Text 72 O conqueror of wealth, Arjuna, have you heard this attentively with your mind? And are your illusions and ignorance now dispelled? Text 73 Arjuna said, My dear Krishna, O infallible one, my illusion is now gone. I have regained my memory by your mercy, and I am now firm and free from doubt, and am prepared to act according to your instructions. Text 74. Sanjaya said, Thus I have heard the conversation of two great souls, Krishna and Arjuna. It's so wonderful is that message that my hair is standing on end. Text 75. By the mercy of Vyas, I have heard these most confidential talks directly from the master of all mysticism, Krishna, who was speaking personally to Arjuna. Text 76 O King, as I repeatedly recall this wondrous and holy dialogue between Krishna and Arjuna, I take pleasure, being thrilled at every moment. <clears throat> Text 77 O King, when I remember the wonderful form of Lord Krishna, I'm struck with even greater wonder, and I rejoice again and again. Text 78 
Wherever there is Krishna, the master of all mystics, and wherever there is Arjuna, the supreme archer, there will also certainly be opulence, victory, extraordinary power, and morality. That is my opinion.